So here we have a plastic housing. And a lot of times when you go to do your offsets or B-side for the plastic housing or shell, you end up with odd edges on the offset surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into offset surface. I'm going to select my surface. I'm just going to go inward. Remember, this is the B-side. And I'm going to select OK. And what I want you to notice is, depending upon where the offset's located at, like in this case, this offset's going up, this offset is going down because of the angle of the surface. You'll also note that in that corner, you have this S shape, cleaning that up. When I go to close this out, last thing I want is that S shape. I want a nice, flat, planar space to close this model out on. So I'll undo that. To get that nice, flat, planar face, I'm going to use Law Extension. I'm going to pick this edge. I'm going to specify a vector. In this case, this is my Z direction. I'll go 5 and 5 in both directions and select OK. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to extend my sheet. So to extend the sheet, I'm going to pick this bottom edge. I'm going to go down, we'll say, 3 millimeters. And natural, automatic. This way I get the nicest, cleanest, smooth extension on that surface. Now that I've extended that sheet, I'm going to go back and perform my offset function. And by doing it in this fashion, what I end up with, as you can see here, is a flat, planar face that is perpendicular to my draw direction, so this is a closeout. And then I end up with an offset that has a longer edge than is absolutely necessary, so I can trim away what is no longer needed. And for that, I'm going to use Trim and Extend to make a corner. Select my first surface. Select my second surface. And for this, I'm going to reverse the first direction. And select OK. So there is my initial trim. Then I'm going to go back into Trim and Extend. I'm going to pick this surface to this surface, okay, and then for this, I'm going to reverse, and what I end up with, as you can see, is a nice, clean corner. So this corner is going to be my shutoff face in whatever tool that this is going to go into much easier to create that nice clean edge as a shutoff and I'll do this going all the way around the part. I'm not done until I I'm actually get this completely cleaned up and as you can see I have another set of faces so to properly do this I would go ahead and undo everything, do another law extension, adjust my offset to make sure that it has both of those extend it out, and then trim everything back to end up with nice, clean, desirable edges. So that's one method of getting a nice shutoff on your surface.